All right, I, I told you I've been saying this. I have been testing the character literally. This is one of the best characters we've gotten in the game. Uh, limited, 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 let me re-speech. Okay, re-speech. Limited characters we've gotten into the game here. Um, and I'm super happy that the devs put the effort into making this character good. Um, and yes, we, we kind of have been cracking down on finding out that this was a last minute change. Yes, she was not planned to be as good as she was. Recent, like, like right between um, dropping the skill page and releasing, or rather right, right between releasing Anchor's video into this, it, it, the dev kind of changed her kit a little bit, all right? Just, you know, you want to know why I'll tell you later. But today, like and subscribe helps out a ton. You need to see this. This is what I've been telling you. People have been saying this character is overhyped. This character is not as good as people are saying. And I want to show this to you. But this is now reviewers going through, trying out the unit. I've also been theory crafting with a bunch of people. Um, and yes, I'll be opening my Discord soon. So stay tuned for that, uh, where everyone can join in and just talk about stuff and units and like help me test together. It'll be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that also. Uh, that'll be this week. So yeah. But here we go, Pridewin has officially, officially updated the tier list here. And I'm telling you now, predict. Predict right now where you think the unit's gonna be. Okay, got it in your head, let's go. Yes, in storyline, in just storyline, late game storyline, she is an SS tier character. Look at how depressing a tier list is when it looks like this, right? I'm telling you that limited characters deserve a little bit of a high spot here and there. Again, it's not a problem, Theor theoretically. Yes, I see people saying like, in the long run, it's gonna ruin the game. But you have to realize, Modernia is, is a limited character. Like, whatever you want to say, she's a limited character. I don't care what you say. The only chance you had to guarantee Modernia was back then. Literally, she is what you consider a limited character. People are like, no, she's a pilgrim, doesn't count. Yes, I can pull her later on. I have not duped out Modernia since the start. <laughs> I still don't have a dupe for her, all right? I still haven't pulled Noah. I still haven't pulled Isabel. I still haven't pulled her on. What am I doing, <laughs> right? It's like, no, those those are limited characters also. At a point, a character that is like that is really hard to pull, regardless of what you say is considered a limited character. Um, till this day, I have not pulled a dupe for Modernia, other than the guarantee that I got myself, correct? After I pitied her. So for me, I'm, I'm sitting in that thing. If I didn't pull Modernia, I would consider Modernia a limited character. But again, I understand what your point is. I understand what you're trying to say. I still think that they deserve to at least be good. It's so stupid that every time a limited banner rolls around, people are like, why should I summon if they're bad? And here you go, you finally have an SS tier character. If you were to look at it, right? Not limited, not limited. None of these are limited. Other than Anise and Power over here being on this on this list here for, for S tier. Uh, yes, at A tier, you pick up two more limiteds. One with Mary and one over here um, with um, uh, Makima, right? So that's pretty cool. Yes, limited finally made it to SS tier, which is super, super cool. Now, prepare yourself for this, all right? Early game story. She's still SS tier, keep that in mind. Just wanna make sure we're aware about this. That is where it currently stands. Still, uh, the list looks like this. So again, keep that in mind. Boss, solo, <laughs> she ranked at SSS tier, dude. That is crazy. I don't even know how. <laughs> she ranked, well, I know how, she's a great character. You have to realize that she is so freaking good. Um, that it's, it's kind of crazy. And no, it's not overhyping her. You have to realize there's multiple teams at the end of the day, right? People are like, no, my Modernia comp is still 10 times better. My Scarlet comp is still 10 times better. But in this game, they're, they're prioritizing you running different teams. You're not gonna always run the same team. You're not going to, it's not gonna happen. Uh, in, in Solar Raid and Union Raid, those are things that stress you making multiple team comps. In Story, running an ECR on some stages instead of your Modernia and Scarlet comp can help you depending on the stage, correct? If it's, again, Electric Code getting buffed, if that's against the boss that is going to be weak point to that, they're going to get shredded, correct? So at the end of the day, it's true, whatever people are saying, but it's also true that this game stresses multiple team comps. So at the end of the day, investing into a character that can fit on a different team comp is great, okay? Because again, are you overlapping your privity in your Modernia comp? No, but you're going to overlap her elsewhere. You're going to put her onto this team. You can remove your Scarlet from your Modernia comp, swap in a different burst three, make Bunny team fully work with a different burst three that you're using like Alice or whatnot. Um, Drake would not, right? So it just depends on what you're using there. And then boom, make your own team comp separately, correct? So that's there. But right now you see she's clearly ranking an SSS tier for boss solo. We're gonna go with additional targets. And again, she ranks at SSS tier. Apparently Privity also moved up, I do believe. Let's see the change log. Did they say anything? No, so they only updated her. Um, but I think that they did move her up or I'm high. <laughs> it's one of those things. I thought that she, was she always SSS tier? I don't remember, but yeah, she's also SSS uh, ranked here. Then if you were to look at PvP, she is currently <laughs> ranked at SSS here too. Oh, wait, that means if I hover over her character, dude, <laughs> she's SS, SS, and then triple S on all three of the bottom tiers. Oh my God, does that mean that she's uh, basically, who is she on par with? She's better than Drake in that capacity. So she's basically just Blanca Noir. Yeah, she's basically just Blanca Noir minus one, but 
Yeah, that's where she currently stands. She's a great character. The testing has been going through, um, and I've been having a blast. And I've been, I've been theory crafting with a bunch of people. Um, we've been having a blast too, trying to like find out what this character can do. Um, and I've learned a bunch of new things, right? So I wanted to share that also. Uh, I have a very, very informational video coming soon uh, where I can give you so many little tips um, that I kind of learned and picked up because of people testing and helping out with that. Uh, so again, I will open my Discord up soon if you'd like to join up and also just hang, uh, hang out and talk about it. Uh, and then flex your polls. Okay, people were flexing their polls on me. They're like, oh, we got shafted? Oh, don't worry, man. I got three cores and two multis. How the fudge is that even possible, dog? But uh, yeah, Prime One's review is now out. If you want to go and read it, you're more than welcome to. Um, but I will try to read like the better or like the, the pros and cons, all right? Pros. One of the current meta DPSs with high value support skills. Scales well with overloads and skill investments. Pretty nice. Still strong even with lower investments, which is true. Um, the character or the... Um, the one that I keep running with originally was like not invested into um, like the most and she still did great. Makes Scarlet great again. Was she, wasn't she? was she always great though? Okay, we'll go with it. Was she or no? <laughs> Bullies water bosses, which is very true. Uh, despite being a shotgun user, she still deals decent damage against enemies uh, or far enemies due to her skill too, which is also true. Her skill too and uh, hits at most enemies uh, and most two enemies, sorry, which can be um, kind of meaningful against mobs or bosses with additional targets, such as Mother Whale, which would be pretty cool. Um, does that mean she can shred mo uh, Mother Whale? Isn't she weak point? Uh, is she, isn't she water? So that could be deadly too. Um, support skills, uh, what is it? Only buff electric units, which is true. Her DPS uh, decreases significantly, if not paired with Privity, due to the ammo reduction. Because again, Privity is dropping the ammo even more further. Um, but you can run it without her, which this is going to explain right now. Which Privity, uh, or without Privity, she needs to be burst uh, at level 9 to reduce her max ammo to 1, which is really expensive. But again, if you're building a unit, right? right most people are going to build her to 9. Um, so for, for the long run, a lot of characters require high investment. Some characters do in order to hit, like hit, hit the high points, right? So again, this is one of them. So keep in mind, by the time you reach that point, uh, she'll finally do it where you can remove privity. And then as people reach that point, the team comp will expand uh, to be much better. But again, it's going to be, it's going to be an investment. Correct. It's not going to be just like one thing I can do. Level nine is an investment. Take a while. Uh, so last hit mechanics limit the flexibility of team com uh, composition. Any max ammo buffs should be avoided, right? So that's why some comps that are currently being run aren't working with her. For example, Noir and whatnot. Uh, you can't because she increases ammo capacity and some of the characters when they burst increase ammo capacity and you don't want to do that. You want to keep it uh, dropping. So just keep that in mind. And in the future, any character that boosts ammo capacity will ruin her kit. So you can't run them with her. Keep that in mind. All right. Uh, she does not gain further benefits from reload speed uh, beyond 90% due to fire rate re restrictions. That's also there, but yeah. So at the end of the day, that's currently what she's looking like. Again, you're more than welcome to read all of this. There are so many different uh, reviews that are coming out, um, and people are very happy with the character, right? But yes, we also have this. This actually seems important. I'll just read this to you real quick. Uh, speaking of skill investments, upgrading her skill one should be prioritized, followed by skill two. Her burst does not require upgrading uh, much, since most of the time using privity is enough. Better to conserve those burst manuals. If you use, if you plan to use Anise, Sparkling Summer and PvP, there's actually an incentive to burst uh, level nine, which lowers her max ammo to one and exponentially increases her damage. Keep that in mind. Anise Sparkling Summer also skills well with gear. Again, the um, OL lines. Keep that in mind. Uh, you want to aim for attack and elemental OL when possible. Hit rate is not bad either, but treat it as a bonus. Dispose of all max ammo lines and avoid using her with any unit that increases it. That is true. But again, there's a lot here to read through, so have fun with it and take a look. But I'm telling you now, a very well-made character. She's going to be very strong, and she deserves that kind of spot at SSS tier. It's, again, people are saying, like, no, Blanc and Noir are better. Yes, Blanc and Noir are, are flexible, which you have to also realize that Blanc and Noir require to be used as Blanc and Noir. You can't consider them, because, um, again, Anise is basically Anise plus, uh, plus Privity, which is true, but Blanc is also Blanc plus Noir. It's the same way, right? They are run together in order to do max kind of damage. Yes, I'm not saying that Anise is going to compete with your Modernia. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Modernia and Anise are very strong DPS characters, simply put, right? So again, if you need an additional team, if you want to murder water bosses, you now have your character, right? What we expected from Summer Neon uh, was the fact that she's going to murder water bosses. That's supposed to happen. And sadly, she got placed at A tier, right? People that invest into her are also trying her. And they say that, yeah, after a lot of investment, she'll become really good. But you can see someone with low investment and someone like this is ranking SSS tier versus someone like this who was designed for a specific content, but again, isn't doing the shining light. Like, oh my God, godsend, right? But again, that's just how it's been designed. But now two summer units, at least both of them made it to the top tiers. Uh, one being SS tier over here and one being SSS over here. I do wonder where Helm will kind of be placed. Off of her kit, she can get placed lower than S, but 
we have to see how the damage rolls out and how the support rolls out. Uh, she's an attacker while this is a support character. So I'm curious on how everything pans out and how much the character can actually do. Uh, but we will find that at a later date. Right now, this is where we're currently at. We are finding out now that yes, Anise is broken. She's the best of the best in people's eyes. Um, and she is very good. But again, yes, she does a lot of damage, though you don't have to swap up your team just to use her. Yes, I would say she's more so uh, swapping out the team for... Uh, some bosses here and there she can very much help you um but yeah i do think that she's a strong character and she's in my opinion a must pull uh for the future of the game and if you want to go and murder water bosses i wonder I, mother whale versus her <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast all right so take care that's been it for me i'll catch you in the next one have fun stay safe peace and enjoy and yes that is currently the tier list ranking for um anisa over here sss tier that is deserved very deserved